know, I've lost count of the abundance of occasions when I get pushed in the direction of a game and it's recommended to me. It's like, play this, you'll like this game. Twitter, PlayStation. I get all these messages. It's like, you should play this. Have a go at this game. Now, my problem is, is that I get caught up in the moment of doing what I do. Generally, it's Call of Duty. Generally, it's Battlefield. And I think, no, I'm going to concentrate on this. I'm going to put all my eggs in one basket and I'm going to stay loyal to this game. And I, I might come to that so some point and then eventually when I get round to thinking about it you know it's just almost like the I suppose the popularity dies out a little bit everything becomes a little bit watered down and a little bit exhausted and people are like well, I don't really want to watch that anymore I'm kind of bored of that now so even though I could probably think well do you know what I don't know much about it I'm gonna have a go at this I obviously have to take into account everybody else and I think well if people don't want to watch it people don't want to watch it I won't bother with it I will just carry on being very monotonous and sticking to what I'm doing because uh, I'm a fool. So Overwatch was the game that came highly recommended on many an occasion and I've got to be honest I've never really played a game like this. All the cartoony games like Borderlands and stuff um, I missed out on those and I apparently missed out on a big treat so I thought I'm gonna get in there while this one's still hot. It's still a, it's still a common talking point. People are still enjoying it. People are still uploading it and my goodness me to the few who hoved in and said give it a push, give it a go, just stick it out. It's different but you may like it if I had a thousand Vestal Virgins and all the riches beyond your wildest dreams, I would throw them your way. Um, actually, no, I wouldn't. I'd, uh, I'd have them for myself and you could keep your game. No, <laughs> just kidding. Uh, of course I would. So, yes, thanks very much to those people who recommended me this game. It is brilliant. I've absolutely rotted this weekend putting the time into this. And I've got to be honest, it's the whole Titanfall 2 thing again. It's the whole different stepping out of my comfort zone. Ooh, what's this? It's all new. It's not Call of Duty. Why can I not dash around corners at super hyper speed and fly on walls and so on and so forth? But obviously a lot of these characters have, well, every character has a different skill set that requires, I suppose, the host or the puppeteer being us to manipulate them correctly and get used to them and say this is the character I like to use because it's good for this. So this is some gameplay on a map called Route 66 and the type of game mode is called, I don't know, I don't know what this is called, transport the train, the payload. It's a payload, it's on a train, you have to move it along the, the track of life and get it to its destination and along the way you have to fight baddies who all come with a certain intention of stopping you in your tracks and stopping the payload from hitting its destination. But in this case I'm playing Sombra. The reason I chose her is for the very tactical reason of no other reason apart from the fact that <laughs> I've, I slightly find her arousing in a cartoon way. I know it's a little bit unusual but if I was a cartoon character I would be hitting on her and she would be rejecting me as we speak but she's very sexy. She's a sexy powerful purple haired vixen with a pistol and using hacking that I don't know what the hell it does to the enemy equipment but all that combined together with an ass that won't quit that resembles two ferrets fighting in a sack I think we're good to go. <laughs> so, yeah, forgive me for my extreme, perverse, weird obsession with a cartoon character. I don't know what's come over me. Maybe I don't get out too much anymore. I certainly don't get out too much anymore. So, I will go with this. I have bounced from variable to variable in different character forms and I'm finding them all, apart from a few that I don't like, apart from a few that I just think I don't know, there, there doesn't seem to be any place. You know when you watch the, well no, there's obviously a place for everybody, but you know when you watch these end play of the game goes to this person, I've had that a few times, it's quite a proud moment, and you can almost tell, mind you I've had a couple of games where something happens mid-game and you think, oh god that was unbelievable, I threw that down, it exploded, it killed three people and there was a guy trying to take over the objective and I killed him, and accidentally shot somebody behind him as well, so it was a five piece kill, fantastic, I'm really happy about that, that's going to make the player the game and then it will come up at the end it says play of the game and it's not you and you think oh something better okay my uh my curiosity is at top level i'm intrigued what was this play that beat my fantastic five piece and uh it shows some chap just shoot one person then reload his gun and shoot another person that's it that was the play of the game and you feel cheated and robbed it's like no i knew i had that one in the bag he must be related to the judges or something but yes, it's nice when you get that play of the game, but 
some of the characters you do look at and you never see them in the end lobby or you never see them being chosen by people i think some people might feel they have no need for them there's one of them i can't i haven't got them in front of me now so you'll have to bear with me this is one of my uh this is one of my many downfalls when i commentate i don't have the facts in front of me so i have to say oh that person with the thingy gun and the strange hair that looks like a pineapple um, but there's one of the characters towards the medical side of things who fires a sniper rifle and it kills enemies but if you fire them into teammates it heals them and that's really good I, I used that character once and it was obviously very good from a sort of defensive point of view you know playing at the back of the map um, sorry further back not getting engaged too much into the mad action and franticness of the game but shooting a bullet into the arse of your teammates as you can see them coming up critical you know they're in a bit of danger that's fine <laughs> Have one of those in your ass and uh, it's all for the greater good it'll make you feel better so the variables in the game are fun and it's interesting and it makes you it makes you want to try something different every game i like changing characters and seeing if i can master them like i say there's about three characters i've managed to um managed to i wouldn't say master but i've managed to get to grips with them and i feel a little bit more comfortable playing as those characters as opposed to a few of the others where i just think oh, i thought this would be good but it's not and maybe there's a there's an angle to it there's a different skill set that you need that i suppose will make it more effective so in a nutshell this game is frigging awesome i absolutely love it and i thank and applaud those people who pointed me in the direction of this and said you will enjoy this game stretch out your arms and embrace it close to your bosom and you will become an overwatch fanboy and i have indeed so thank you very much we will cover a lot more of this this was just a vague sort of commentary talking about my enjoyment for the game the character i'm using and showing you a little bit of gameplay to showcase that i kind of know what i'm doing but obviously there's room for improvement so feel free to come in your hordes and criticize where you see fit i'm always open to suggestion thanks very much for watching hope you enjoyed the gameplay apocalypse done <laughs>